Grouping of capacitors Grouping of capacitors can be done into ways series grouping and parallel grouping. Let's understand how to calculate the total capacitance in series and parallel grouping. Series grouping When capacitors are connected end to end, we call it series grouping. In the animation, we see three capacitors connected in series through wires to a battery. The capacitance of these three capacitors is denoted as C1, C2 and C3. And the potential of the battery is denoted as V. When the circuit is complete, charge Q transfers to the left plate of C1 creating a positive charge on its inner side due to induction. Simultaneously, a negative charge is created on the right plate due to induction and positive charge is created on the outer side while the plus Q charge flows onto the left plate of C to then positive and negative charges are created again on both plates of C2 and the same process repeats for all capacitors. Now, as potential is applied in this circuit, it gets divided according to the capacitance of each capacitor. When we apply potential to a capacitor, the charge stored in it is directly proportional to the potential. By simplifying this equation, we get a relation between capacitance and potential. By using this equation, we can calculate V1, V2 and V3 the potentials across each capacitor. Summing these potentials, we get an equation in which Q is common. If we replace V with Q divided by C, we can cancel out Q on both sides. And by cancelling out both sides, we obtain a value that represents the total capacitance of all three capacitors. Parallel grouping When all the left terminals of capacitors are connected to one terminal of the battery and all the right terminals to the other terminal of the battery, it's called parallel connection or parallel grouping. In the animation, we see three capacitors connected in parallel to the battery. The capacitance of these three capacitors is denoted as C1, C2 and C3 and the potential applied to them is denoted as V. When the circuit is complete, charge Q transfers to all three capacitors. This charge distributes among the capacitors in different amounts denoted as Q1, Q2 and Q3. Due to induction, an equal amount of charge is created on the second plate of each capacitor, which sums up to the initial charge. Now, as we know that the total charge is equal to the sum of Q1, Q2 and Q3. If we change the value of charge in terms of capacitance, we get a relation that allows us to find Q1, Q2 and Q3. Putting these three values into one equation gives us a new equation. Now, in this new equation, we'll replace Q with CV and cancel out V on both sides. Eventually, we obtain the value of C, which represents the total capacitance in parallel grouping. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.